Hello. Um, today I'll make a video on uh, Florient POS, but um, POS, the point of sale system. Um, we use it here um, for uh, a small restaurant that we have. My wife has runs a restaurant. It's a free point of sale system. You can uh, download it for free, and um, it works on Windows. It works on Linux. It also works on Mac. Um, when you download the uh, program and unzip the program, what I have downloaded here is the version 1.3. There is a newer version 1.4. I haven't tested it uh, properly, um, I, but I'm not. I wasn't really that much happy with it for a couple of reasons. Uh, that just particular uh, for my system, not that the program ha has any problems. But for my system, I found this one. Um, I'll talk about it a little bit later. I found this one uh, more uh, useful for just particularly my system. So uh, I'm still using 1.3. I'm probably going to move to uh, uh, to the new system later. Later. So when you unzip the file, uh, there are a couple of things that you see. There will be uh, a couple of folders: the library file folder here and the POS DB folder that's a database folder and there will be some more files um, that you that come when you unzip the, the program um, here you see a batch file a start server batch file also start server shell file this is if you use Linux you're gonna need this shell file if you use uh, Windows this is the file that you will run that opens the database program the data database and allows it to connect to your uh, Florian program and so once you connect the, you open the database you run this Florian batch file or the shell file here uh, it's a uh, so this opens the program the actual program and connects it with the database and continues to, to run okay so let me just go ahead and start with the start server um, batch file when you double click on that uh, by the way I don't have a touch screen system so I uh, use a regular computer a regular screen so it just works fine I have no problem with it so it opens this window and it says it should say server is ready to accept connections if your program is uh, installed correctly, if your um, um, system is in, in, in installed correctly. If it doesn't say that, the uh, pro possible problem is that you don't have a Java installed in your system. So you need to go back and uh, install Java. Um, uh, and and it'll, it should work. Once you do that connection, that uh, when, once you open, you start the Florian POS batch file and you see this window and I'm gonna um, log in um, if it's your initial login it should be the login and the password should be one two three one two three um, so you can click like this um, oh let me see if I could clear that one three or if, if you have a touch screen you can punch in or you can type uh, your password or your user ID and when you log in um, it should show the username here welcome to the username so this is the window that comes up um, here the uh, main window there are some buttons here I'm sorry Let's see. Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry about that. My uh, phone started to buzz. Anyway, uh, so we have this window and uh, these buttons, and you see th those buttons. For the most part, those are for the manager and when you want to log out. Uh, so when you open a new ticket, you click New Ticket, and it asks you for the table number um, of where the customers are going to sit and so you uh, choose a table number 
and how many how whatever however many many customers you have you uh, click that and it opens the m the menu items it, and gets ready to uh, make the ticket as you can see here okay on the right side of your screen and here you can see the cata categories of your menu the menus are divided into big categories and then the big the, and then in each category there are groups and in each group there are menu items okay so i have for instance beverage here i have cold beverages and hot beverages so let's just say we have uh, two beverages to choose and let's say we have beer and uh, some appetizers and as you can see there are some uh, um, funny looking names in my menu that's because uh, my wife runs uh, an Ethiopian restaurant so we have an Ethiopian restaurant so as you're typing those um, menu items uh, there are uh, uh, options in here you can make it look better or there are other uh, things that you can you can add but I have just a basic thing a basic menu we have no fancy things and we don't have lunch and dinner different menus so I only have lunch uh, actually dinner and as you can see here um, the ticket is being made and here you can see the subtotal and the tax calculated and the total calculated and you click finish here and now you have your ticket and you can see here we have a ticket ID and the table number so uh, each ticket a unique ID is created for it for each ticket there's a unique ID so if you are able to go into the database and check you can see the ID uh, and so there's a table number the server and the date created in the total due okay well what what can you do with uh, 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 another way of uh, to open a ticket is if you open a takeout ticket if you have a takeout order there's a, a takeout ticket it kind of looks the same but you don't it won't ask you for um, uh, a table number and the number of customers when it's a takeout order now I'll, so now let's let's do let's settle a ticket when you want to settle a ticket you click on the ticket and you click settle and it will ask you for what kind of transaction you want to settle it uh, you can pick cash transaction and you can clear and say well let's say the customer pays fifty dollars for instance and when you click finish um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry here I'm not connected to anything so my printer is not connected so it was trying to print something in any case you're gonna see how much it was due how much was tendered and what the change is you can print a ticket and close or just simply close and now I'm gonna make another ticket so I can show you uh, a few things um, let's see I have let's see I have some vegetarian menu and some beef menu and some kids menu here hot dog or some busa or chicken sandwich let's finish this and now once you open a ticket you can split the ticket let's say you have customers that want to pay separately you can split it up to four tickets here um, so you choose the item and you move it to the the, the second ticket choose the items you can move them to the second ticket up to four so if uh, in my in our case there are um, customers that would want to split it to six or something what we what I do what we do is we split it to four and then split the four the fourth one to uh, two more or three more actually so you can split a ticket you can edit a ticket uh, that means that you can add to it or you can delete items or change okay and it's not unusual in my in our restaurant um, that a customer um, finished up uh, eating and then orders something new and one of the reasons why 
I chose to continue using this older version of uh, Florian POS is because we have an editing option here which is missing in the newer version for otherwise um, you have you can you know settle a ticket you can print a ticket when you want to print you just click on it and then print and it'll print it on um, on a ticket printer this is a mistake and this is not even a ticket printer okay we'll just ignore it so the ticket will kind of look like this it will have your restaurant name and your restaurant phone number and also the ticket item I have retouched the ticket from the original one so yours might look something similar to this but not exactly so I've made some changes here to fit my uh, our, our, our test our style okay um, so this is what you're gonna see on your ticket printer when you print it okay another thing that you can do is you can go to back office and get reports so uh, what we usually do is we at the end of the day we get a sales balance report and um, let me let me zoom in here so that you can see uh, what you have so you have administration uh, option explorers and reports and that's what I clicked okay and when I clicked reports a drop down menu came and I chose that one this is the one I chose okay um, well you don't have it in your system you uh, but I have a short sales report so if you're uh, somewhat programmer or if you teach you can teach you I, I taught myself this Java thing I'm not really a, a, a programmer so I added a menu uh, and this is a short sales report that I, that I, I added and you can see here um, um, uh, it's a shorter version of the or original report uh, my wife likes uh, my likes this uh, simpler uh, uh, watered down version of it so uh, that's why I created this um, so um, uh, this is my first video on Florian POS the point of sale system on the second video I'll show you how you uh, can how the menu items are created and uh, that's the manager option that creates menus menu items um, I didn't want to make this video too long it's already long enough um, so thank you uh, uh, and goodbye.